the research we're doing at Cancer Partners UK is to evaluate a technique which spares the heart from radiation when we irradiate a woman's left breast. It's important to give as high a dose to the tumour bed as possible, but as low a dose to the heart underneath. The reason it's important is that the chances of getting a heart attack over the next few years after radiotherapy are much increased. And therefore, to avoid this, we use a technique where the woman is taught how to hold her breath and we only radiate when she's breathing in deeply. It's monitored by the patient using electronic goggles where she can see where she is in her breathing cycle. It takes a bit of learning, but is a very effective way of avoiding radiation dose to the heart. The results of our research on, on deep inspiration breath hold really means that everybody that's got a left-sided breast cancer and is receiving radiotherapy should actually have a breath hold type technique. There are several available, not just the one we use, but they seem to be obligatory now. I think the evidence is clear enough. If it was my wife that was having breast radiotherapy, I would insist on getting her to a centre where this type of technique is being delivered. Our technique differs from some other uh, centres in that we actually fully monitor it. The patient mo learns how to monitor the cycle of her breathing and the machine is only switched on when it's truly in breath hold mode. Just asking someone to take a deep breath and hold it is really not good enough. You don't get the sort of uh, continual benefit that you get from our technique. The future is about developing more and more techniques like this for different parts of the body, using different technologies to avoid critical organs, so in the pelvis, in the abdomen, in the chest, uh, in the chest wall, in this case in breast cancer, but there are all sorts of other little techniques we can use to try and avoid critical normal organs. Cancer patients are living longer, our treatment's getting more successful, therefore the long-term consequences of the treatment becomes much more important than it did when I was first a consultant, for example. This treatment should be available to everybody. Um, the reason it's not is time, effort, training. It's not the equipment, it's not expensive. Um, but it is fiddly to use and it requires education of staff. If they have left-sided breast cancer and they're going to receive radiotherapy, then they should ask for this technique. The future of radiotherapy is trying to use techniques like this, which are relatively simple, uh, to try and reduce the dose to critical normal tissues, in this case the heart, but in other parts of the body, other tissues, spinal cord, uh, bladder, bowel and so on. Uh, this will reduce the long-term complications and as the survival from cancer improves over the next two decades, it's critical that we pay more attention to the long-term complications and use techniques like this which can avoid them.